events, and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. You can hear the uh, weed blowers in the background as we're cleaning up from uh, the big Children's Week festivities we've had all day today here in Tallahassee. We are in the plaza of the state capitol. Our guest this hour, Representative Abraham Porth. Ari Abraham Porth, District 96, and thanks very much for joining us. Thanks it's for good having to have me. you here. Nice to see you. And, and this is something, it's interesting because you were the chairman of the first ever early childhood caucus. And, and this was uh, an interesting get together talking about nutrition and other issues as well. One of the things that came up was mission readiness and that's kind of an interesting approach uh, for kids. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. We had a fantastic meeting of the Early Childhood Caucus which is a bipartisan group of legislators from across the state. About a month ago uh, we had General Paragino who's a retired uh, Army General who lives in Southwest Florida come and address the group about a program that he's active in called Mission Readiness. Retired generals across the nation are letting it be known that so many kids when they graduate from high school even though age appropriate because of problems that they had when in high school or even at a younger age or because they didn't graduate from high school are not going to be eligible for military service. So these retired generals all across the nation are getting together in this mission readiness program to make sure that we have eligible young people that can serve our military because presently approximately 70 percent, 75 percent of those age eligible can't. What are some of the problems children run into where they can't serve? It, it could be that they dropped out of high school. It could be delinquency issues. They got themselves in trouble. Uh -huh. It could be um, weight issues or other health issues. And these uh, well-meaning generals are trying to fix that. Up to, to make 75 percent of the potential pool. Yeah. That's interesting. It's unbelievable. So a lot of the stuff uh, we're doing in the state to, about obesity issues, about dropout rates, is directly linked to, to actually increasing the number of people who actually can, if they want to, get in the military. It's all tied in. Okay, interesting. Now, what are some of the other things you talked to at the caucus? We've been talking about um, child rearing techniques, um, taking care of uh, young children from an early age. Uh, we. It, it, it's, uh, it's ironic uh, that we formed this caucus uh, this session because just three weeks ago, my wife and I uh, had our first child. Oh, congratulations. So I'm, learning, I'm learning a lot of important uh, child rearing techniques from this caucus that we formed <laughs> right here. So, on the job training, right? Exactly. Nutrition, a big issue. Uh, and I know that's something that, uh, that may be taking a backseat with a healthy start uh, being affected by the budget. Uh, but uh, is there something going on to actually help kids get the right nutrition? Well, the First Lady has been uh, promoting um, uh, child obesity uh, nationally and telling uh, kids that they need to make healthier choices. Uh, but there were actually some students uh, from Stranahan High School who presented a bill idea. I actually filed their, their bill uh, here at the Capitol with Senator Sobel. They want transparency in the lunchrooms. They want in front of every selection at lunch and at breakfast, they want to know the calories and the, um, mm -hmm. the nutrition contents. That was their very good idea. Another issue you're very passionate about is the transition to adulthood bill uh, that's taking place right now. Maybe you can explain it. Sure, what it's all about. sure. On behalf of the Department of Juvenile Justice, I've been working on transition to adulthood, which is sort of mirrored after the Department of Children and Families uh, Independent Living Program. Kids that have been through the delinquency system, kids that have uh, committed some offense, have gotten in trouble, but have served their time, need the support of the state, need to learn life skills, need to have an opportunity at vocational training or at college. And what this bill does is set up a framework. House Bill 627 and, and sponsored in the Senate by Senator Wise looks like it's actually going to pass and, and will give a lot of young people that okay. got into trouble a second chance. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Representative Ari Porth, our guest this hour on Comcast Newsmakers as we come to you from on the road in Tallahassee. I'm Spiro Kent. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.